In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a logo with interlocked letters using the Mako Fun Online tool. So let's start. We'll create a simple logo made up of two interlocked letters, but using the same technique, you can create logos with more letters. First, let's go to the text menu and add a simple text layer. Double click to edit the text and write your first letter. I will type the letter O. Then let's change the size of the letter. I will input 540 for the size to obtain a big letter. Now let's choose another font style. I will choose a serif font that looks cool for logos. You should know that in Mako Fun we have over 800 free online fonts that you can use in your designs. Now let's duplicate this text layer, move it to the right. Double click to edit and write the second letter. I will type the letter G. Put it in place and change the color to a light purple or any color that you like. It's essential to have different colors so that we can see each letter better when the interlocking effect is created. So the next step that we are going to make is to go to Properties and choose Rasterize Layer. Now, this text layer is rasterized, so you cannot edit the text anymore. Open the Filters menu and choose Mask from the Filters Gallery. On the Paint Mask, choose Hide, set the size and make sure the feather is set to zero. I will choose a brush size of 22, but depending on the size of your canvas and letters, you can choose another brush size. And now, simply paint over this area to hide it. If you make a mistake, simply click on the Reveal button and paint over again. Click the Done button when it looks good. Next, we have to transform this raster image into a vector. For this first, reduce the brightness to minus 1 so that the letter becomes fully black. Then go to Properties, Vectorize Layer and choose Contour. Move it in place and change the color back to light purple. The interlocked logo is done and looks great. But I will now show you how you can do the same for the letter. This will help you get the hang of it if your logo has multiple letters. So go to Properties and choose Rasterize Layer. Open Filters, Add Mask, click on Paint Mask and then Hide. Set again the size of the brush, make sure the feather is zero and simply paint over this area to create the interlocking letters effect. Click on Done when you finish. To get a fully vector logo, let's make this rasterized letter into a vector shape. Go to Properties, Vectorize, Contour. Move it in place. So this is the result for the intertwined letters. Let's get the final logo design. Go to Custom Crop in the bottom menu and simply crop the logo by drawing a rectangle around the logo like this. Click Enter to accept the crop. Logo images need a transparent background, especially for printing. So let's make sure that the background is set to transparent. Now, you can download the result as an SVG file. You can also save it as a PNG with transparency. This is the resulting interlocked letters logo design and it looks great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and decide to give Mako Fun a try for your next project. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.